Grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are now in the Thursday of the 28th week in ordinary time. Dear brothers and sisters, today the readings are inviting us towards two duties, teaching and learning or should I say learning and teaching. A good teacher should be a good student or a good student becomes a good teacher and even if the teacher wasn't a good student when the teacher was a student, the teacher should have learnt lessons from life before he or she becomes a teacher or else the teacher will be only a teacher by profession and not the teacher in the sense of being a teacher. So dear brothers and sisters, look at the Pharisees and Sadducees and scribes. They were teachers of the law, but they were not learners of the law. They did not learn. That's why they and their ancestors, they killed the prophets who spoke the word of Christ, who spoke the word of God. The prophets spoke the word of God. And what did these people, the ancestors of these Sadducees and scribes do? They killed them because they couldn't learn the ways of the Lord. If I am not willing to learn the ways of my God, if I am not willing to know about Him, how can I tell about Him to the world? And that's why what happens? The last words of today's Gospel, what does it say? It says that they were waiting to for an opportunity to seize him, to catch him, to do something to him. Why? Because they were not even ready to learn from Jesus. Their ancestors were not ready to learn from the prophets. And these people were not ready to learn from Jesus. And they want to teach others how to live. Dear brothers and sisters, let's ask ourselves, Am I using the opportunities given to me to learn about my Lord and Saviour, to know about Him, to grasp the truths about my faith or am I satisfied with those things that I know? If a child is studying in second class, the child will know second class basics, second class knowledge. But if a tenth class student knows only second class basic. He is known as a dumb ed, as a dumb person. If you judge the knowledge of the world in that sense, in which sense should we judge the knowledge, the wisdom, the life and faith? Forty years, fifty years people have lived a life of faith and what they know? Basic Our Father, Hail Mary, basic prayers, went to church, came back home, Sundays once. I'm not saying everybody is like this. We, they, we have so many symbols of faith in our own families, people who go morning masses, people who pray, people who lead the family in prayer. But there are many who have put a full stop to their prayer life and they are just coming to church for attendance. So dear brothers and sisters, it's up to us, a question that we should ask ourselves. First, am I learning about my faith? It's not that I learned in my catechism and done, no. We should learn every day about our Lord. And second, am I teaching it? If I'm not learning, I cannot teach. And ask any teacher, can the teacher teach the truths what she is not convinced of? She cannot, he cannot. The same, learn the truths, be convinced of the truths. Then you can teach and then the Lord God will protect us from harming those who come in the name of the Lord. And like those Pharisees and Sadducees and scribes, we will not harm those who come in the name of the Lord. Amen.